The Dream 100. So what is the Dream 100? It's something I talk about a lot. I try to get entrepreneurs to, uh, to build out a Dream 100 and to focus on that uh, as the core foundation of their business, yet most people don't ever listen to it, let alone actually apply it. So I wanted today to tell you guys a story about how I use the Dream 100 uh, to get with a whole bunch of amazing people that I wanted to get to know. And most importantly, my number one Dream 100, who is Tony Robbins, and how I use this strategy to first off become his friend, second off begin to promote ClickFunnels to promote us, and more recently, to actually become a partner with him. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. The reason why Tony Robbins has been one of my Dream 100, I remember 15 years ago when I first heard about him and I saw him on Shallow How, and I was like, who is this guy? Close your eyes. So I went to eBay and I bought every single Tony Robbins course I could find. And I plugged in and I would listen to Tony talk to me every single day. It started slowly shifting my mindset, shifting my body, shifting like all the things. And as I was growing my company, I always thought, man, it'd be so cool to work with Tony on something. I just said, I wanna figure out a way to get to know him and get to work with him. So to kind of put in perspective about how hard it is to get through all of the gatekeepers, since like he is a celebrity that's bigger than life. Again, he's been on movies. More recently, he's got his own Netflix documentary. He speaks to millions and millions of people around the world. Tony Robbins is one of the most sought after seminars in the world. I'd always had this thing that I wanted to make Tony. He's about six foot nine and he speaks like this. He coaches the presidents of the United States, runs 54 different companies, five or six billion dollars a year in sales. I always think I'm the busiest person in the world and I look at Tony, I'm like, me times 54. Like, for me, the question's like, well, how am I, like a 22 year old kid, supposed to figure out how to get access to Tony Robbins, literally the biggest person in my industry and in probably 40 different industries. You think he's at home now? Watching this? I don't know, Jay. I don't know where he no, was right here. So what I did is I built up Dream 100 of who are the people who may be around Tony that I could get access to, people a couple tiers down below him. At that time, my Dream 100 list included those people, people like Frank Kern and John Reese and Evan Pagan. You know, all of them lived in San Diego, close to Tony. And so I Dream 100 them, got to know them. And then one day, one of them had a chance opportunity to go and meet Tony hey, Robbins. That's when he got in there, he talked to Tony and then introduced Tony to all the rest of the people at that level. I actually didn't know I was in it first until one random day I got a phone call from Tony and his team asking if you want to come and experience UPW and then have a, a chance to actually sit down and meet with Tony in person. How you doing out there, Toronto? So I flew up to Toronto to attend Unleash the Power Within, and I came as an attendee. Unconsciously, but unconsciously through a problem. Um, he invited me to sit in a private section right in the front. And every time he's talking about different topics, he keeps looking at me and keeps looking at me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like all leading up to that night, we had a chance to do the fire walk with Tony, which is what UPW is famous for. You get to walk on fire. The purpose of the fire walk is just a great metaphor for taking things you once thought were difficult or impossible and showing how quickly you can change. And he came to me and said, Russell, so glad to have you here, and gave me this huge hug. And uh, he said, come on, let's go walk on fire. I remember going to bed that night, I called my wife. I was like, oh my gosh, I walked on fire. I met Tony, it was crazy. And I just, I, I knew that that little, that little piece of him I got, I was like, I want, I want more of this. I want more for myself, for my family. Uh, and so that's kind of where, where it really began. Like when Tony was in his hotel room talking to me, one of the first things he said, he said that, you know, I read about your story, I know a little bit about you, and you got started with potato guns, right? It's like, how did you know that? He's like, oh, I watched this video of you, and I'm like, oh, it's so embarrassing that you know about my potato guns. But when I got back from UPW, I was thinking like, what's something I could send him, what's something I could, you know, the, a man who could buy anything, who has everything, like what could I send him to that's unique, that's special? And also I had the idea, I was like, I should send him a potato gun, like the actual potato gun that, that we made in the, the DVD, How to Make a Potato Gun. And so I waited, and, you know, for a month, and then two months, I didn't hear anything back, and then one day I get this email from Tony saying, Russell, I just got to my home, and there's this big, huge box on the front porch. He told me that that night, him and Sage and everybody went out and they shot a potato gun in his backyard. I wanted to send him a potato gun because I want to figure out a way that Tony's going to remember my name. Um, I thought, you know, what's going to be unique that he will always associate with me? And I thought the most unique thing I possibly could send him would be a potato gun. One night I got a random call and I didn't know who the number was, but I answered it and it was Tony Robbins' assistant. They said, hey, Tony wants to know if you want to speak in Fiji. And Colette is sitting there and I was like, Tony wants me to speak in Fiji? And she heard that and she goes, she's like, tell him yes, tell him yes. I was like, when is this? She's like, next week. You want to speak in Fiji next week? And she starts jumping on the bed like, tell him yes, tell him yes. Like mouthing that to me and I'm like, yes, yes, we'll come. And that was 10 years ago. We actually stayed in this exact same house that we're in right now. And the kids were playing right here. 
And the first night we got here, I'm like, well, what should we do? And there's a, uh, um, a projector here. So that night, um, we sat down and we actually watched Shallow Howl. And please stand up and give a big hand to Russell Brunson, ladies and gentlemen. First off, I know a lot of you guys have businesses that are bigger than mine, that have been around longer. Um, but at the same time, I hope that I can bring some value to you guys because um, I do have a skill set. We, um, in our company, generate a lot of leads online. Tony sat in the back of the room taking notes the entire time. After the event, we were supposed to fly home and he asked, he said, hey, um, I'm, I'm creating this new product called the New Money Master Series. Do you want to be on one of the DVDs? I was like, are you kidding me? And so, let's get to it. Russell, I just want to really thank you for coming all the way to Fiji. Yeah, thanks, it's been amazing so far. So, all this amazing whirlwind of stuff happens, and there's all this momentum, this progress, like we're moving our way in, and then nothing for years. Not just like a year, like multiple years, like four or five years. And I, um, I got an email from someone on his team, like, hey, do you want to help promote Tony's book when it comes out? And I knew that they were going to do it wrong, and I was like, ah. And so I messaged Tony, I was like, hey, I know you're about to launch your book. We just launched ours, we had a you know, huge success. Like, I just, I would love to jump on, on a call with you or someone on your team to kind of explain what we did because I think it'll help you sell a lot more books if you put it through a funnel. They said, I want to build a funnel. Cool, we have this new software called ClickFunnels. Like, we love to build the whole thing for you. And he was like, okay, um, how does it work? I'm like, well, I need some of your time. And he's like, okay, coordinate some of my team and we'll figure it out. We call this team, like, we're gonna need like a day. And they're like, no. We're like, okay, can we have like a half a day? They're like, no, there's no way. And we're like, well, we have to get him on video, like talking about his book. I can give you an hour. I'm like an hour, like that's all, of it. like that's that's stretching it even. Like, okay, so we flew to Vegas. We got our own hotel room. We that we rented the nicest suite possible because we needed a good place to go film videos. It's been a long time. They got everything set up for an hour. We filmed all the videos we needed for this funnel. We gave it to him as a gift, and then they used that funnel during the book launch. Thank you. In his newest book, Money, Master the Game, Seven Simple. And everybody here. He was on every single news channel, Today Show, CNN, like everything, all pushing back to this one book fund that we helped create for him. You gotta learn from rich people. He lived in a car. He ain't always had this book. <laughs> so it was successful, he was grateful, and after that we didn't hear from him again. Obviously he is like one of the busiest, if not the busiest man on earth. And about that time is when we had launched our Funnel Hacking Live event. We had our first event, we had no keynote speakers. Our second event, we're like, we should get a big keynote speaker. And like, you know, it'd be really cool is Tony Robbins. We're like, we can't afford Tony. Like, let's just get somebody else. And as we moved into to Funnel Hacking Live number three, that's when we're like, okay, we should try to get Tony. And I didn't know how that worked. I didn't know what he's charged. I had no idea. Whew, but I was like, you know what? Um, first off, if I want to build this relationship with Tony, I need to give him access to our platform. Number two, if I want to build a deeper connection with my audience, I need to introduce them to Tony. Tony changed my life, and I know that he could change their life as well. And so, no matter how much money it costs, we decided to go for it and to just do it. Here comes, here comes, here comes. We got Tony. We got Tony. Oh! Tony. <laughs> I don't do that many talks anymore, private talks. I pick the ones I want to do, and there's very few. But I'm here because of Russell. He is truly, yes, give a hand for it. He went up there and spoke for almost five hours. And when he got off, I came back on stage and it was crazy. And the entire audience was standing and they started cheering my name. And it was kind of weird because like, I didn't do anything, Tony did it. But because I had brought Tony for them, um, they were so grateful. After the event was over, I knew that Tony was in the middle of launching his new book. And we wanted to help support this book as well. And so we set up time after the event up in the hotel room for me to actually go up there and interview Tony about his book. I was excited because like, I read his original books like 20 years ago and then- Last time I wrote a book. And then there was no books forever. And then like, that's when I started going through the courses and the CDs and the events and like- yeah. And then after it got done, him and his entourage were cleaning up and they were about to head out the door. And what he didn't know at the time is that in my pocket I had the very first copy of the Expert Secrets book. And so as he was racing out, I said, hey, really quick, Tony, before you go, I just finished my second book and I would love to give you a copy of it and hopefully you have a chance to you know, flip through on your, on, your, on your flight home. He looked at me for a second, took the book, gave me a hug, and then he took off and he was gone. Back and forth. I remember just kind of like, oh, crashing, like, you know, mission accomplished, we did it. Took the interview and we promoted it and sold a ton of copies of his book. Again, trying to figure out how can we provide as much value as possible. So we did that by being an affiliate and selling a ton of copies of his book as well. I had known him at this point for about 10 years. So I had built book funnels for him. I had paid him to speak. I'd give him access to our platform. I'd consult for them for free as often as I could. And I'd try to provide value as much as I can. And it was the first time that I ever 
wanted to ask me for anything. And it was for the, the launch of the Expert Secrets book. It was coming out. He is, of all experts, like the ultimate expert in so many different fields. And I thought, if I could get Tony to interview me um, on his fan page, that would, that would be the best thing in the world. I was so nervous. I think a lot of people, when they, when they pursue a Dream 100, like, they'll do all the work. But the scary part is like asking the question, like, like will, you, will you promote me? And I had been so nervous to do it. And finally, I said, you know what? If I don't ask, um, I'll never know. So I sent him a message and within like a minute, Tony texts back and said, yep, I'm in, I'll help you. I was like, oh my God. Tony Robbins is doing a Facebook Live with Russell tomorrow night. Serious? No, yeah. No way. What? So at the time, his fan page had like 3.9 million fans. This is so exciting. We're clicking go and it went live on his fan page. There's a new book out called Expert Secrets. Uh, the subtitles help you find your message, build a tribe, and change the world. Yes, hold that up so we all see that. There it is. <laughs> there we go. Should we see stats over here on John's computer? Hearts and love, baby. Hearts, Hearts and love. See those stats, man. <laughs> that video was viewed over three million times. You know, Tony really opened up his entire brand to me, allowing me to be able to share my message and my story and my book with all of these millions and millions of people. And that was really the power of, you know, building a relationship with someone to get exposure and access to their entire audience. So if you just, you have my text, right? You have yeah. my text? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you text me? I don't have time to do it. Pitbull coming here in five minutes. I apologize. So Pitbull's coming here in like five minutes. Well, thank you, Pitbull, for waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's awesome! Oh my gosh! That's so sweet. <laughs> All right, so this time ClickFunnels was growing. We were a little bit more financially secure. The next Funnel Hacking Lab, we, um, we'd sold over 3,500 tickets. And so we said, you know what? We're at a point now where we could book Tony again. So we called him back up, booked him for Funnel Hacking Live in Orlando as well. And this was the Funnel Hacking Live where we introduced Operation Underground Railroad, which is a charity that, that Tony's part of. Tony's the number one donor of Operation Underground Railroad. And then after the event was done, we were breaking it down. And we had a really cool moment behind stage. Congratulations, this makes me so happy. You made a giant contribution. But, you know, that'll save a whole lot of kids' lives. That's just amazing and beautiful. So congratulations. I think one of the sub-lessons here for the Dream 100 is that by doing that, and it wasn't something we, we orchestrated, it was just something where Tony and I both share the same value. And for him to be able to see that and see it wasn't just something we talked about, but something we actually did and put into practice. Um, it's just something that builds the connection, the friendship, the relationship that much closer. And so it's important to, to find people that you share values with as you're building your Dream 100 because that's what makes those relationships really matter. So after that fun Hacking Live, I want to fast forward about six months later. I got invited by Brendan Bouchard to go to a private mastermind group in Wyoming with a whole bunch of amazing people. Like, and it was a private mastermind group that nobody knew about. We flew in helicopters to get to this location, go fishing, shoot shotguns, a whole bunch of other cool things like that. And on the flight home, Dean and I were actually sitting next to each other, talking to each other. And we're talking about different projects and ideas. And we we're sitting on the plane, both in first class, and some guy walks past and he's like, hey, I've read both of your guys' books. And they were like, Whose was better? It was really um, <laughs> True story. And Dean starts telling me the story. He's like, hey, I'm working with Tony on this project. And he starts going through the whole thing. And I was like, dude, Tony doesn't do like real projects with anybody. And he's telling me this whole thing. I'm getting more and more jealous. Oh, can I jump in here a minute? So, I just want to tell you the, the, what this guy does behind the scenes. So he's like, you and Tony are doing this thing. Tony and I built a software and a course on how to extract your knowledge and run masterminds. He's like, I want to create masterclass, but for masterminds. He said, you know, instead of buying a course from Michael Jordan about how to play basketball, imagine going to Michael Jordan's house and actually playing basketball with him. He's like, that's the difference. And I was like, I get it. And I was like, well, what's, what are you calling this thing? And he's like, oh, you know, he had a couple of different names. I'm like, dude, you should buy mastermind.com. And he's like, someone already owns it. You know, they, I can't get it. I thought, oh, that, like, that's too bad, that would've been amazing. And a couple of days later, uh, I was thinking about his, his idea and his project, and I was like, I wonder who owns mastermind.com. So I went to mastermind.com, and sure enough, there was, there was a site there, it looked like it had been fully developed, and I was clicking through the site, I went to the About Me page, it showed a picture of the founders of mastermind.com, and they were literally holding a Two Comma Club award in their hands. I was like, oh my gosh, like I have access to these people. I can get a hold of them. So here's the cool part. So he tells me, you should, you should have mastermind.com. It's only a million bucks. I'm like, I don't really want to spend a million bucks. I was like, no, dude, you have to have it. Like masterclass.com, mastermind.com. Like you have to have that domain. So my Dave, a million bucks is too much. See if you can negotiate. So Dave goes back to negotiating with these guys. And then we had the idea. You want to know the, this guy, the way he plays? He negotiates buys mastermind.com for 600 grand and gifts it to Tony and I. I'm not done, I'm not done. But he's no fool. Tony and I saw that reciprocity and now we made him a partner. Nice move. <laughs>
Dream 100 at its best. Anyway. It was one of those things where it's just like your wildest dreams come true. Something I hadn't even fathomed, you know, 12 years earlier, or 10 years ago when I was in this room, to be not only friends with Tony and Dean, but to be business partners with them. We launched mastermind.com. It was the biggest launch in the history of internet marketing, doing over, I think, like $38 million in sales in like a two week period of time. Uh, the top 10 affiliates. Just get a fly with us in Tony's private plane to Fiji. Insane, it's gonna yeah. be fun, so. That's why we're here at this trip. That's what we've been doing. And that's why the Dream 100 strategy is so important. Looking back on it, it's crazy to think we used this strategy, first off, to get in the door, to let Tony know who I was. Second off, to build the relationship and build a friendship, and eventually to build a partnership. It's not necessarily like the fastest way to grow a company, but it is the long-term strategy. You know, Tony always says, But most of us overestimate what we're gonna do in a year, and we get disappointed. We underestimate what we can do in a decade or two or three. And that's why very few people fit there. But I'm here because this young man has true integrity. He really delivers. I know you know that by the passion that you have here. His skill sets that he gives you are there, but also everything he does is with integrity, which sounds kind of corny and boring, but it's rare. So I really want to acknowledge Russell and his lady and his team for being the kind of people they do. Year number one, if you look at my Dream 100 strategy with Tony, it would look like a complete failure. I, I, I met him for five seconds and that was it. Looking at over the decade now, um, it was a smashing success. So that's why the Dream 100 is so important. That's why it's important to start planting those seeds now. Um, and if you do that now, today, not tomorrow, not in the future, not when you're ready, when you start today, you start planting those seeds, it gives you the ability in a year from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, to harvest those seeds at a level you never thought was even possible.